Alright, hello and welcome. This is Marat to it here with episode 2 of my play of Bebo's Tech Pack. I gotta tell you, right now, this is uh, pretty fun. Um, before we get too uh, far involved in here, I have done some basic work around here. If you notice, this room's expanded out. I found I had a wall made of appetite, which is actually... I'm not really big on forestry myself. However, you can actually use appetite to make a, a fertilizer like bone meal, and early on that's actually really useful. So it's basically a, a two sand and an appetite gets you. Uh, actually, let's. I have some over here, right here. It's this stuff. It's a uh, two sand, one appetite gets you eight fertilizer. Each of these act like bone meal, so that's pretty good. Um, if you have ash, you can get 16, which is an even better return considering ash is a byproduct from using peat, which you can use for fuel. Um, speaking of peat, I should actually have some outside, just not quite ready at the moment. Um, I have done some serious work here getting some Tinker's Construct stuff ready. I have a basic smeltery going. It's uh, all nice. And I already need to get a better storage solution because this is not going to last. It's not doing so great. Uh, anyway, this is just a one layer smeltery. I have the uh, casting basin on the left and the casting table on the right. Just nice, simple setup, easy to use. Um, I am getting low on lava, however. Pretty much what I've been using at the moment has just been surface lava. And with that, that is the last of it. So I need to actually go caving in to get a better supply. You know, it actually might not be a terrible idea to uh, eventually get to the nether. Um, if you head outside real quick. Um, if you notice, there are a bunch of trees missing. I've pretty much chopped them down, and I've intentionally not replanted them. I want to keep this area a little bit safer than it has been. With all the trees here, it's kind of hard to see the, uh, it, the little uh, zombies and stuff as they go about. And I have a garden here. That uh, first carrot that I got the uh, first episode is now fully going. It's really nice. And I am growing cotton for string and stuff. Um, eventually, I will actually get some sheep and I'll get them in a pen and stuff. I just don't have the space set up for that yet. I did, however, forget to do one thing that I wanted to do with the uh, shoveling stuff out of the chest. I need to actually repair it. Yeah, no nutritional value. Alright, there we go. Let's get that out. There we go, repair shovel. Um, anyway, so what I have done, if you notice the stuff over here, it's not a chunk here or anything. This is actually, it should be peat. I went ahead and I made up some bog earth, which is just a liquid source of some water in either like a can or a cell or something like that, surrounded by dirt and sand. And this should, should give me peat. And we get the dirt back. Oh, that's awesome. So this is something I probably want to set up. It wouldn't be too hard to automate this, and the only thing I'd really need is a way to generate sand, which is not an issue once I get a cobble gen going in, say, a macerator or an enrichment chamber, something like that. do need to do though is uh, get some water source blocks in here so it's not flowing water. So I have done a bit of mining if you noticed inside of wrong chest. Inside of the chest here I've got a good amount of surface quartz so far. I've got some ore that I need to cook up. I have a ton of copper. And because of the surplus of copper, that's actually what I used to make my tool forge. I don't want to waste any iron on this, and since, like I said, I have so much friggin' uh, copper, it's not funny. Just go ahead and put this down over here for now. It's actually really nice that I was able to use that particular metal instead of iron. Um, anyway, so now that I have this ready, this means I can actually start making some of the tier tool Tinker's Construct tools. Uh, mainly a hammer that'll make mining a lot easier. And I also would like to make a cleaver, which is actually cheaper than I thought. For some reason, I was under the impression it took two of the large plates, not two of the uh, large tough, two of the tough rods. Uh, I'm not going to do that now. Now we're actually going to go down to the cave. 
when I was mining in here earlier. Let's uh, see if I can do this right without landing on a staircase. There we go. When I was mining earlier, I actually came across this, uh, I think it is a uh, Skystone Meteor. This is from uh, Applied Energistics, the Applied Energistics 2, if the uh, tooltip up there is not giving it away. Inside here, hopefully, there is going to be a chest with uh, one of the presses that you need. Oh, I can't mine that, can I? Would you need to break that? you need diamond level. Hmm. That sounds like a case for steel. Alright, so we are back here. Um, I've managed to get enough resources. I actually found a decent amount of redstone. I've still got three or five left. Um, and we have here an Ender IO Sterling Generator and a Metallurgic Infuser. Um, the, metallurg the, the Metallurgic Infuser is from Mechanism, which is what we're going to be using to make steel. Um, Mechanism as itself is an extremely customizable mod. You can actually adjust the power generation for pretty much all of the generators, as well as the operational costs of all the machines. On top of that, you can actually set the machines to use a specific unit of power. By default, they're jewels. You can set it to use redstone flux, to use Minecraft jewels, or to use EU, which is what, electrical unit? Um, it really doesn't matter which one it's set to because it's all treated the same internally. It's just for the player, it displays it as whichever one you choose. Um, I have made a change from the default pack and I have set mechanism to display in Redstone Flux since we also have Redstone Flux as the default displayed unit of Ender IO. Um, if I wanted to, I could put it to EU and pair it up with uh, IC2, but yeah, it doesn't really matter so much. I just want to make sure that it wasn't by itself as jewels, since nothing else uses jewels. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and, let's, uh, for now, let's go ahead and just put this down right here. Um, I believe this should work without any sort of cabling, so we should be okay. Alright, let's go ahead and see, actually, you know what, let's see if that peak that I made will work inside of this guy. I know it'll work in a furnace, I don't know if it'll work in here, it depends on how it gets the list. I've seen some mods that have set the machines up to pull from the generic burning... Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's excellent. I mean, it's only 20 redstone flux per tick, but uh, I'll take it. Yeah, and it maxes out. I think you can upgrade this by making capacitors. Let's see... Increases energy storage and speed range of machines. Does the basic capacitor do such a thing? I'd have to smelt up some gold. Okay, let's go ahead and... How much lava we got in here? Oh, that's not a lot. That can't be right. Alright, let's just go ahead and melt, melt that all down. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and I need at least, uh, for a pick, I'll need one piece of steel. And that's all I'm going to worry about right now is a pick. So one steel, let's go ahead and put the iron in here. Now, I believe I can actually use coal or charcoal for a source of carbon. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> that's really loud. Um, I'll tell you what, let's see if we can turn that down a little bit. Um, see, music sounds... Is it under blocks? That's still fairly loud. Alright, so it looks like it's about um, one iron and two charcoal to make the steel dust. There we go, steel. Excellent. Oh, there you go, that's right, that's much better. Um, we'll cast this out as a block, and then get an ingot cast. Alright, so that's done. This will be done very shortly. 
That's exactly what I wanted to do. And if you're paying attention, you realize that we currently have a small problem. The uh, power setup that I have right now is Redstone Flux. The machine I have in my hand here is actually running off of EU. Those aren't compatible power networks. Uh, Mechanism has a solution to that, however. I just need to put this in there with... Uh, sure, that'll do. I think I may need two of those, actually. What we're making is the very basic tier of universal cable. Really? I need one more? Yeah, I should have, should have put two pieces in. All right, so we got that out, which is steel, steel, and then redstone. And we get eight of these guys. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave the... Uh, I'm not putting these down in any particular order. I'm just going to go ahead and put them down. One, two, three. Um, let's leave a space. And I hope, I hope, 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 this isn't going to explode. <laughs> um, last I know, the uh, universal cable didn't let IC2 machines explode, but I honestly can't be sure if that's still the case. So uh, let's cross our fingers. Okay. Excellent. Excellent, yes. All right, and this is actually good for if I ever need to process like the zinc and stuff. I can't use the smeltery on that. It's definitely got to go through the uh, macerator here. Plus, it's uh, I I don't want to waste lava because these things are actually really stupidly efficient. I just don't have lava, and I'm talking a lot this episode. I'm so sorry. Ah, the sounds of automation. It's so loud and annoying. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more charcoal in here. That's not charcoal, that's actual coal. Excellent. Alright. So, let's get back on track here. Uh, we are getting the bronze tool rod I have here, the steel pick head. And we'll just make... A deposit in this chest with the mycelium and the iron and the copper and the gold and the nuggets and the redstone and all this junk. Okay, let's come back over here. We need to make a binding. And now we're going to make a pick. So pick, stick, and binding. So this is a stone bound reinforced to steel pick with a bronze rod and a stone binding. The one here is just regular bronze. It has actually worked quite well for me considering how cheap bronze is to make. But I need steel to be able to go through the uh, sky stone, I believe. It should have the same mining level as diamond. Well, vanilla diamond. Down the hole of nausea we go. Yeah, I've got to get ladders. This was a this was a something that was okay and as an idea, but definitely not good of implementation. Um, let's block this up right now. I know it's over that way. You don't want to. All right, let's go back over here and see if the steel pick is any better. Oh yeah, that's, that's better. So as it turned out, this didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. I dug out to the um, side of the meteor here, and when I found where the center was, I just went in that way, and here we go, we have a sky stone chest. What do you got in here? We have the inscriber engineering press, we have iron nuggets, and sky stone. So this is uh, good, I just need Two more of these. I need the logic press and the, I believe it's the silicon press. Uh, let's actually... Inscriber star. Well, just inscriber. So we need the... Uh, actually, I don't know what the calculation press is used for, but I know that I do need the logic press and I know that I need the silicon press. 
What are you used for? Printed calculation circuit, which is used for the calculation. Let's try that again. Calculation processor, which is used for the storage stuff. Okay. So that is very important to have too. So I need four of them. It's a really interesting multi-tool. It's got a screen and a wrench and a... Unfortunately, this means I need to find more of these meteors and I could still get the thing that I just got again, which would not necessarily be the best result. Can I break this? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, I was so close to randomly poking into that thing too. All right, so this one is currently uh, empty. There's no other stuff in here, so we can just leave it for now. I have more than enough sky stone to satisfy my uh, building urges. All right, so there's one last thing that I wanted to look at for this episode before I went ahead and wrap this up. Uh, one of the mods that is inside of this pack is called Progressive Automation. It offers you some uh, basic machines for certain everyday tasks, like, say, mining and wood chopping. Well, it's chopping, which I'm assuming it's trees. And as well as, uh, I believe this is for power generation. Yeah. Yeah, the RF engine. So I believe this generates redstone flux. I don't know what the diamond generator, I don't know how much more efficient they get. Because it starts taking a lot of uh, redstone to make these guys, because each of these RF engines is 9 redstone, and each of these tiers takes 9 redstone plus the uh, 6 gold and the 6 gold. 6 iron and 2 gold plus whatever other upgrades they need, so it, it can get expensive. By the time that you're probably wanting one of these, it shouldn't be an issue though. Anyway, what I'm making right now is a wooden chopper, which is just 6 things of wood, a furnace, a wooden axe, and a chest. Okay, so we have the uh, wooden upgrade here, and we also have the chopper ready to go. Um, I think by default this has a range of 1, so I want to see what this does without adding any sort of upgrades or anything to it. Um, I do need to put an axe in here, and I believe that it can only use an axe equal to its tier, so if I want to use a diamond axe, I need the diamond machine. I believe. I could be wrong. Um, unfortunately, I think that also means that, well, honestly I'm not sure, but I, I have a feeling that you have to use diamond upgrades in the diamond machine. <laughs> anyway, so we have that in there, and see, does it take... It does, oh, that's awesome. How about this? All right, so it's waiting. Uh, where are you trying to place your stuff? Try to go over here. Okay, let's surround this guy in dirt and see if it does anything. I think it's just in front of it. I'm not honestly sure. And what we're going to do is uh, speed this along by making it uh, grow a little quicker. It is burning the peat though, so that's good. Uh, let's get a little bone mill action going here. That's a nice little tree. And there we go. That's uh, pretty neat, actually. It is not terribly quick. I imagine that the uh, bigger trees might go, and it apparently fuels itself. Huh. What happens if we put this in here? Okay, now it has a range of two. It may only be in front of it. Oh, no, there goes two. I wonder if that means it'll get over here as well now. It's kind of weird. I'm used to the Mine Factor Reloaded machines, which have like a 3x3 by default, but this is definitely way cheaper. I could understand why it doesn't necessarily go that far. So now it's just waiting. Get it going again.
that is just that's pretty neat actually I mean it's, it's definitely not something that you're going to rely on for long term but if you just want to be able to have like a little tiny tree farm going while you're off mining within like say the first day that's uh, pretty awesome um, so I had the macerator set up earlier. I've also since constructed an electric furnace, which is doing me quite well. And I have my extractor here for making rubber. So it's really, there's not much else I'd use this for besides rubber. Um, maybe the hydration cell if I decide to get into the uh, crops. I don't know if there's any other immediate use for that. Um, but anyway, right now these work fine. I put items in, I take items out. I put items in, I take items out. Nothing wrong with that except for the fact that I'm lazy. Um, so what I'm going to do, I went ahead and I made up these ejector upgrades. Uh, can I clear these guys? Uh, automatically output to the bottom side. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down. All right, so for the macerator right here, since it's to the right of the electric furnace, I want it to eject to the left, um, which is the east side. So we're going to take this, we're going to click on the east side. This should now say east and I am now facing east, okay. And this is going to go right here into the macerator. And for the electric furnace, I actually want it to eject to the top. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on the top of this block and then put this in here. Now what should happen if I were to put in this thing of tin ore right here, it should process in the machine. It's kind of loud, I'm sorry. It should process in the machine. And then as soon as the, uh, rubble slash dust whatever is ready to go it should then get ejected into the furnace which should be kicking on right about now there we go and then that's going to immediately process into a uh, ingot which goes into the chest that's uh, one of the things that i really do like about thermal expansion is the ability to automatically daisy chain items uh, I believe you can do that now with uh, under I.O. stuff. I'm honestly not too sure, but I'm pretty sure you can. And you can definitely do it with Mechanism. And I'm glad to see that there is a way to do it with Industrial Craft. I just wish it didn't cost extra, because these uh, upgrades aren't free. Alright, so there we go. I just realized I said alright a lot in this video. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, so we have this going. <laughs> right now we just have a stack of, like, uh, the blocks in here they're being processed right now and is working on tin and we have tin cooking up here so far it's going pretty good I mean this is a really basic little setup however it is enough to save me from actually having to worry about you know uh, putting stuff in now the machines I like it plus we're actually getting a surplus of energy burning peat here in the generator so that's pretty good uh, that is definitely all that I'm going to be doing for today though so I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this episode of I play a Bevo's tech pack. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a message below. And as always, have a good day.